Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will study about context-free grammar. We know that each language has its own grammar. Grammar is a set of rules by which sentences in a language are constructed. Consider the grammar of English language. It defines the rules for constructing valid sentences of English language. Now consider these rules of English grammar. A sentence can be a subject followed by a predicate and a subject can be a noun phrase. A noun phrase can be a noun or adjective followed by a noun phrase or it can be an article followed by a noun phrase. Predicate can be a verb followed by a noun phrase. Right? A noun can be a cat, mouse or apple. Right? And verb can be eats or dance or sleep. Adjective can be big or small or good. And an article can be the, an or a. Right. By using these rules, we can form many sentences. Now let us see how we can form sentences by using these rules. See, we know that a sentence can be a subject followed by a predicate. So here I have replaced the sentence by subject followed by predicate. Subject can be a noun phrase. Right. So here I have replaced subject by noun phrase. Predicate can be a verb followed by a noun phrase. So here I have replaced the predicate by verb followed by noun phrase. Noun phrase can be an article followed by noun phrase. So here this noun phrase has been replaced by article followed by noun phrase. Now, a noun phrase can be an adjective followed by noun phrase. So this noun phrase is replaced by adjective followed by noun phrase, right? Now, noun phrase can be a noun. So I have replaced this noun phrase by noun, right? A noun phrase can be a noun. So I have replaced this noun phrase by this noun. Right? So we know that an article can be a. So I have replaced this article by a. An adjective can be big or small or good. So I have replaced this adjective by big. Noun can be cat, mouse or apple. So I have replaced this noun by cat. Verb can be dance, sleep or eats. So I have replaced this verb by eats. Noun can be a mouse cat or apple. So I have replaced this noun by mouse. So a sentence of a English language has been formed. That is a big cat eats mouse. So here you have seen how we use rules of grammar to form sentences. So in this way we can 
form many sentences by the rules of grammar. Now here see the difference between noun and cat. The words, the words which are in greater than or smaller than brackets like noun phrase, article, adjective, verb and noun are themselves not used as words in the sentences of the language. Right? They are called variables. They are replaced by other words to form the sentences of the language. Once we get the words without greater than or smaller than brackets like eat, cat, pig, a, uh, the, mouse, right? We cannot replace them. Once we get the words without greater than or smaller than brackets, right? Like big cat eats, we cannot replace them. They are called terminals, right? So sentences of a language are formed of terminals. Right? Here, the sentence is a start symbol from where we have started the substitution, right? So, a grammar G can be defined as a quadruple G equals to VTPS, where V is a finite set of variables or non-terminals. T is a finite set of terminals. Right. S is a variable, it is a special symbol and it is called a start symbol. And P is a finite set of rules or productions. Right. Set V and T are disjunct. Now variables are also called non-terminals. Right. And uh, rules are also called productions right in in context free grammar productions are of this form where a is a variable and alpha is a string of variables and terminals productions of context free grammar contains only one variable at their left hand side Language generated by context-free grammar is called context-free language. Language which is generated by context-free grammar is a set of strings of terminals which can be produced from the start symbol S by using productions. Right. Variables are denoted by capital letters, right? And terminals are denoted by small letters. How we can generate the strings of terminal by using the productions of a context-free grammar from the start symbol? This we will study in next tutorials. Thank you very much.